And welcome back. Omar in Herndon, Virginia. Hey, Omar, thanks for watching Free Speech TV. What's on your mind today? Tom, thank you so much for taking my call. Um, I consider you my political, spiritual leader. So oh. if that... Thank you, Omar. I'm honored. <laughs> thank you. The reason why I'm calling you, I had a discussion with the libertarian, and I was a little bit surprised. He really had a lot of information on the Koch brother, and he almost painted them like, like these positive individuals who want to do right. I mean, he recommended a book called The Wizard of Wichita. I don't know mm -hmm. if you read it. And and he basically painted them as as as, as these good guys. And the, one of the things that he said that Barack Obama in 2012 wanted somebody to use as the face of corporation, and he picked the Koch brothers. And my question to you, uh, in terms of libertarianism, uh, explain to me how, how how you think they're positive or how you think they're, they can hurt the country, and is it a good thing to be a part of? Yeah. If you want to, if you want the real uh, down low on the Koch brothers, I encourage you to get a copy of Jane Mayer's book, uh, Dark Money. Okay. And it lays out all the all the nasty stuff that these guys have been behind for years and years. But the uh, among other things, you know, I mean, they're they're not the only ones. But um, you know, David Koch ran for president in 1980. I don't know the Koch brothers personally, and so I can't you know speak from firsthand knowledge. But I do know that David Koch ran for president in 1980 on the Libertarian Party ticket. And you can find this over at Bernie Sanders' website, by the way, sanders.senate.gov slash Koch-brothers. And uh, here's the platform. I mean, this is, ab this is the actual literal language of the platform that David Koch ran for vice president of the United States on, on the Libertarian Party. And today's Libertarian Party platform is virtually identical, except that they they mask all this stuff with, you know, high sounding rhetoric, um, lots of use of the word freedom and things. But here's the here's the here's the platform from 1980. We urge the repeal of federal campaign finance laws and the immediate abolition of the despotic Federal Election Commission. We favor the abolition of Medicare and Medicaid programs. We oppose any compulsory insurance or tax supported plans to provide health services. We also favor the deregulation of the medical insurance industry. We favor the repeal of the fraudulent, virtually bankrupt, and increasingly oppressive social security system. We propose the abolition of the government postal service. We oppose all personal and corporate income tax, including capital gains taxes. We support the eventual repeal of all taxation. See, they want to destroy our government. As an interim measure, all criminal and civil sanctions against tax evasion should be terminated immediately. We support repeal of all law which impedes the ability to par for, of any person to find employment, such as minimum wage laws. We advocate the complete separation of education and state. Government schools lead to the indoctrination of children and interfere with the free choice of individuals. They want to end all public education. We condemn compulsory education laws and call for the immediate repeal of such laws. Um, we support the abolition of the Environmental Protection Agency. We support the abolition of the Department of Energy. We, uh, we call for the dissolution of the Department of Transportation. We demand a return of America's railroad system to private ownership. We specifically oppose laws requiring an individual to buy or use any self-protection equipment such as safety belts or airbags. We advocate the abolition of the Federal Aviation Administration and the Federal Food and Dr Drug Administration. We support an end to all subsidies for childbearing built into our pre present laws, including all welfare plans. We oppose all government welfare, relief projects, and aid to poor programs. We call for the privatization of the inland waterways. We recall for a repeal of the Occupational Safety and Health Act and a repeal of all state usury laws. That's, you know, being screwed by your bank. Omar, that's who they are. Thank you for the